Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the series where we are trying to learn Python by solving interview questions from fan companies like Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. If you are preparing for any of these roles, this is a great series to follow along and build your concepts. So yeah, let's jump right in. In this video, we are going to solve this question on status crest regarding salary by education and try to learn from it. This question has been asked in Google interviews and if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst, or ML engineer interviews, it's a great question to practice your concepts on. Okay, let's look at the question. We need to find, given the education levels and salaries of a group of individuals, find what is the average salary for each level of education. So basically, we need to group by education level and then from the salary column find the average so we are given a data frame called google salaries and our expected output is a pandas data frame with two different columns the education and the average salary and if i explore the google salaries data frame so here we have various columns like id first name last name department education and salary so what we need to do is we need to group by the education column and take the salary column and count the average okay so what we can do is so this is the data frame that we have google salaries and if i go ahead and do group by the education column so group by education and then we have learned previously in this series that the best way to do which is a very fast way and optimized way is to use the dot aggregate method right so it basically can take a function a function that is built in or you can provide your custom made function as well right so that is why it is very powerful and the syntax is ag dot aggregate then what is the final name of the column that you want so it is salary so you write salary is equal to and then you provide a tuple so which column you need to calculate the average from salary so you provide the salary and then what is the function that you need to perform on this column average or mean right so you do not have to write average because there is no inbuilt function called average in python it is mean so you write mean and we also have learned that if you group by a column it becomes an index by default obviously we do not want that what we want is we want education as a separate column so we need to reset the index right let me just you know instead of doing that let me just go ahead and run this here so here if you find it so you only have the average salary what happened to the education column because it is an index that is why it is not being shown so if i go ahead and do dot reset index so and then if i go ahead and run this so you see the change is that now the education column appears as a column not as a index so i think this looks good right let me go ahead and submit to service pass all the test cases so if you look at it everything is green and this is how to do it so not a very difficult question all we had to do was firstly we grouped by the education column and then we took the salary column performed the mean out of it and then the final column that we want in our output is named salary and then since we grouped by education we had to reset the index so that education appears as a column so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video